Hello, my name is Barishan and welcome to the month of Halloween. This is my top 10 best horror movies. <coughs> uh, these aren't necessarily the best of the best. These are what I person personally grew up with. So let's get the list started. Number 10, Jaws. Uh, the story is about this multi-million year old shark who returns to the sea to dine on a large group of tourists and a, a police chief te teams up with a, lo a local fisherman and an ichthyologist and they go out to sea to hunt the, the monster. The film was so brilliant thanks to Steven Spielberg's early direction who was strong in his early days <laughs> causing our viewers to be feared of the open water and and there are still few out there even to this day number nine an American werewolf in London and um, this this film combines three genres one horror two comedy and three the B movie genre all three in one the story is about two American tourists who land in England and and one night they get lost in the forest because they try to take a shortcut and they are both attacked by a werewolf one named Jack is killed and the other named David survives and David is having nightmares about Jack telling him that he would turn into a werewolf at the next full moon. And if you're extra intelligent then you may understand the jokes in the the movie itself is directed by John Landis who later on went to direct the music video thriller by Michael Jackson. Number number eight, the devil's advocate I just love this movie and because it showed that the, the 1990s decade wasn't a dark and terrible time. The story is about Kevin Lomax played by Keanu Reeves who is a lawyer that has never failed a single case. So he is taken to Manhattan which is in New York where he meets John Milton played by Al Pacino and from there that's where the story starts to pick up. Um, it's mostly a crime thr thriller but at the same time it has horror twists that's why it, the film itself classifies as a horror film. I also believe in the film that the concept of that lawyers come from or go to hell this is the film that perfected it and that's why I also really like this film. Number 7 Halloween John Carpenter in the late 1970s created an Alfred Hitchcock based thriller or inspired which is known as this film and with, and this inspired so many other films by using little violence and much suspense as possible with films such as Prom Night the ending is the perfect ending proving the killer is the boogeyman. The film itself introduced us to Jamie Lee Curtis and the role of Dr. Samuel Loomis played by Donald Pleasance was his most beloved role. Halloween in general is a huge reference to Psycho. Number 6 A Nightmare on Elm Street. The story is about a group of typical teenagers who are haunted in their dreams by a killer named Freddy Krueger they find out from their from their parents that it was their fault as they hunted him down as he was once a murderer and rapist the film delivered us some creepy visuals it still haunts us to this day introduced us to Johnny Depp and was a breakout film for the unknown Robert England. Number five, Friday the 13th. 
the classic Jason Voorhees saga begins here with Jason's mum as the original killer. We get an axe in the face, a sliced throat, a guy pinned with arrows, a young Kevin Bacon stabbed through the back of the throat with an arrow and a guy named Ned is killed so gruesomely that that um, he dies off screen. The film is dark, bloody grim thanks to a strong creative plot and Sean S. Cunningham's direction. The film itself is a basic revenge story but it's a good one on that. Number four, Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles. To the, even to this day this is the best vampire movie I've ever seen in my life and I don't think anything can top this. It is a great movie to watch on Halloween. This I believe is Neil Jordan's masterpiece and I wish he had directed more sequels to this film. And the story is about Louis played by Brad Pitt who is interviewed by Christian Slater and he tells his story of how he was once a mortal and he had no life. He's turned into a vampire by another vampire named Lestat played by Tom Cruise and how Lestat and Louis adopted a daughter named Claudia played by Custard Dance. This movie is a heartbreaking horror story that will leave you on the edge of your seat because of its gothic thrills. So if you want an old fashioned horror story or vampire movie that is kind of told in a, in a modern tradition then this movie is the one. Number three the sixth sense. From my opinion this is the best ghost movie I've ever seen in years and it kicks every other ghost movie away and I personally think this is M. Night Shyamalan's best movie even to this day and the moral about everyone being blessed with a, with a power so that they can use it to help others is well de well delivered in a strong way. I mean, look at every other ghost movie you have ever seen, such as Ghostbusters or What Lies Beneath or even Poltergeist. I mean, I do love The Fog as well, but this movie is, I think, is person personally better. If you want an excellent, dramatic, touching ghost film, then this movie is the one. Number two Scream in my opinion is Wes Craven's best movie ever that and and is what created the iconic Halloween ghost mask. The film parodies other horror films such as Halloween, Psycho, Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street and Prom Night. At the same time it plays by its own rules. With constant twists and clever dialogue Scream takes the number two spot the rules such the rules such as in a horror film is don't have sex in a dark room without with where there's no one noticing you or you're not noticing them or don't take drugs alcohol smoke and get completely knocked out and or don't go out looking for someone or going out to fetch something thinking that you'll be back because it's always true that if you did any of these things in a typical horror film then you're royally screwed and well the number one horror film that I like to this very day is The Exorcist uh, I know a few of you already saw that coming but this movie tops all horror films even to this very day based on a 1944 case about a possessed boy I hope I, I hope I got that right this movie sent viewers running out of the cinema when they first watched it and then it was later based on a book by William Peter Blatty I think I'm pronouncing that right I don't know um, and 
later adapted into a film by William Friedkin of I think I'm pronouncing that right too this movie proves that it is none other than pure horror I mean, look at all the other movies that had to do with possession over the years such as um, The Last Exorcism uh, or recently The Conjuring and I think Insidious was one of them and this movie is so much better than all of those this, this movie is the champion of all horror movies still to this very day and that's my list of the top 10 best horror films and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're feeling generous also share as well